$26,000 price tag on that piece of art. And it's something that a lot of Canadians might not even know existed. This is the first time that it was going to be showcased in Canada. Another example is Ross von Fanti. So take a look at some of his work because he was discovered by this gallery owner here from London. She showcased an exhibition of his work in New York and he does this work that kind of looks like stuffed animals. Those are actually made of concrete, if you can believe it. Yeah, okay. kind of weird, kind of neat. Well, she said, so at this exhibition in New York, there was one collector, a very rich one, who bought von Fanti's entire collection. So she was saying, listen, you guys need to pay more attention to your own artists here at home. Isn't that interesting? So it's concrete, but with little bits of fuzz on there, or is that a little uh, concrete? Well, yeah, as well? he, yeah, everything is concrete, and he uses different materials to put it together. It certainly doesn't look like concrete. It actually looks kind of cuddly, yeah. you know? Yeah, so very really intriguing. Interesting. All right, so you mentioned some of the price tags. Mm -hmm. Someone has to wonder how much art is used typically sold at this event. Millions of dollars worth of artwork is sold at this. This is a huge fair, part of the art fair circuit that's becoming more popular around the world because, you know, art buyers don't have time to peruse galleries everywhere. They, they got other stuff to do. So this kind of brings the artwork to them. In 2011, $50 million worth of art was sold at this same fair. 20,000 people passed through the doors. And there are about 130 galleries under one roof. So this is just a way for people to explore different pieces of art. They bring their best work. They bring the work that they think will be suitable for Canadians or that Canadians will like, and, and that's how it gets around. But, you know, in the span of a few meters, when I was wandering around, I saw a Warhol, you know, on one corner, walked just a few more meters and saw Tom Thompson. Like, even just to look around, it's it's really quite lovely. Exactly. If you're in Toronto this weekend and have an hour or so, uh, even if you don't have thousands of dollars. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Thanks, Alexa. You're welcome.